More less. Because these words are our inheritance for those who choose to utter it. Give me liberty or give me death. Thank you. All right, now that uh, William has you all fired up at this point, when you came in, all of the chairs had on them a single sheet of paper at the top it says concerned gun owners of Bucks County Action Committees. If you could get these out now, take a look at them. Jim Vetter is going to come up and review with you each of these four areas. And when Jim is finished, I'll get back up here and we're going to break into four different groups. So as Jim is explaining these, keep in mind what would appeal to you most out of the four groups that you would like to work with. Jim, come on up, please. So we've spent the last meeting and a lot of this meeting talking about education. Now it's talking about action. You know, one of the founders said, you know, when the people fear government, there's tyranny. Pretty close to that now. But when the government fears people, that's liberty. And the only way we can, we can get that state is through action. We've got to step up. So what we, dis what we thought through is really there's four key areas that we can use our time and efforts to really put pressure on government to put a cold stop to those people in D.C. from taking our guns and infringing upon our liberties. And we'll hit each of these individually, but they're going to be, there we go. Maybe we'll start with legislative initiatives first. You know, pressure is what matters. Um, the people down in D.C. will do what they want to do unless we tell them not to. They have, they have unbounded um, hunger to basically control us. So it's up to us to stop them. So we really need to have a group of people here today who are interested to kind of get involved to do a couple things. Number one, influence the legislative agenda and discussion. Um, it's got to happen. We've got to get out there making the case against what Obama as well as what Feinstein's doing. Um, stopping that harmful legislation. But also going out and you know working at the state level to support Representative Clymer who was there to make sure that the people who are trying to put legislation in like HB 357 had the support. And it takes a lot of effort. It takes mobilization of people, engagement. So we need people who are going to be oriented towards this. We've got to work at the federal, the state, as well as the local level. Um, we need to do outreach to legislators and committees. Example, with, with uh, HB 357, that's held up in committee. If we don't get the committee people um, who control that right now to release it, it'll just languish. It'll just be kind of nice words that don't you know, result in anything. But if we mobilize, if you guys help mobilize other people, we can get that thing out of committee, then we can put the pressure on to get it voted. If we get that voted on, we've got protection within the Commonwealth, but it's going to take action. Um, we got a lead program, so we're going to have to get people to get out there to help get people to make those calls, to go and knock on the doors, to make sure that they set up meetings with their legislators. All critical stuff. And then obviously coordinate with related groups like Gun Owners of America, NRA, and others. So this is going to be one group where if you're oriented, we really need to have focus and help. We've got to put pressure on these people. Pressure is, is all that matters. Next one. Um, constitutional Sheriff Initiative and Oath Keepers. We spoke a lot about this at the last meeting. Is Andy here yet? Yeah, there he is. He just came in. Um, this is really kind of critical. There are like over 247 sheriffs around the United States who are taking a stand to say if the federal government comes in to enforce gun control legislation, they will stand between the feds and us. We need to get a support those sheriffs and get more sheriffs on board. So we need to get people to, who are going to be interested in working with Andy and others to go out, meet with county sheriffs, state law enforcement, even local people um, um, in law enforcement to intercede on our behalf, understand their oath of office. You know, if more people come in and talk to them, they're going to start to listen if that gets done. Um, we also need to coordinate with active and retired military personnel around oath keepers. Guess what? O uphold their oath of office. As we saw in the Katrina vid video, you know, if the federal government decides to go this route, what they're going to do is they're going to send troops in. If the troops say no, they can't enforce it. So we've got to get the troops agreeing to say, you know what? What they propose to do in terms of registering us, taking guns away, unconstitutional. They 
won't go out of bounds. We've got to get that done. And obviously, with that effort, we've got to coordinate with the Constitutional Sheriff's Group as well as the Oath Keepers. So here's another action group. Next thing, public outreach. You know, we've got, what, about 300 people here today? There's probably 30,000 people in Bucks County who support us but aren't here tonight. We've got to get out to them to get them mobilized so we can get this thing ge geometric and get that pressure out. So mobilization is critical. You know, the people on the other side of this debate are masters at mobilization and getting the word out. We've got to be able to step up our game and be able to do the same thing. So it's going to be outreach programs to friends and neighbors, other groups, sportsmen, tea parties, whoever. Diverse political groups. Again, this isn't like a Republican issue. This thing cuts across. Democrats, Republicans, Libertarians, Independents, whoever. We've got to reach out to them. Other ethnic groups. We've got to get down into the city of Philadelphia. Um, reach out to folks there. Gun shops, firearms industry. Um, comments from the last meeting. We heard a couple of people say, you know, youth. What are we going to do to get them out? Get them mobilized? Because, again, you look at you know who we have today. Looks like it's mostly kind of a 40, you know, something and up. We've got to get the young kids on board so that, as William said, when we pass the Torture Liberty, there's somebody else going to be there to carry it. And then fundraising. So again, this is going to be another group, action group. And then the last thing is communications. You know, some people aren't necessarily comfortable going out, meeting with legislators, doing all the kind of active work. But we sure could use anybody who's interested in helping us with the website, which we're going to be getting up, Facebook, which is up, but which needs to be populated, um, maintaining contact lists, doing email blasts, um, and other things like that. So that's kind of much more support, but really valuable. So those are the four things. If we can execute on those four things, we will have power, we will have influence, we will stop this thing dead in its tracks. Next slide. There's one more. So what we're going to do for the next 15 minutes, it's like 8.30, is we're going to try to, it's a big, group, big room, we're going to try to break up into those four groups based upon your interest. And what we're looking for is kind of leaders or co-leaders who kind of want to run those groups and get people active. Um, you know, we've got all those ideas that we threw up there, but again, you, know, you guys have a lot more ideas than us. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of creativity out there with you that is necessary, a lot of energy. So come up, when, when you break into the groups, come up with other ideas than what we can up with that you think is going to be basically effective. And then what we'd like to have happen is you know, at the end of the meeting, right before the raffle drawings, hopefully everybody stays, sticks around, you know, is have each of the group leaders kind of report on the things that they discussed and then next steps so that we can keep this rolling so that after today we'll have some education but a lot of action so we're out there making an impact, getting our goals achieved. So with that, Steve. All right, now, we debated amongst uh, the team here how we were going to do this. And um, it might be a little chaotic, but bear with us for 15 minutes, please. Now, on the sheet of paper at the top, there's a place for three pieces of information. If you would, please, before you leave your seats, put your name, your email address, and your phone number. If you're interested in working in any of these four groups, Put a little checking mark because top to bottom, as you're looking at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock will be the Legislative Influence and Outreach Group. And in that will be William Marsh and Dave Sager. So they'll be leading uh, a conversation in that group. Going back to 5 o'clock in the room, you have uh, back there, Constitutional Sheriff Initiative and Oath Keepers. Andy Rumbold, Andy, would you raise your hand, please? Andy is a uh, constable here in Bucks County. He's an Oath Keeper. He'll be heading up that particular session. You can meet Andy in that corner of the room at 5 o'clock. At 7 o'clock in the room is Public Organizing and Outreach, and there's four folks in that group. We have Mike Tilley. Uh, we have, uh, who else is in that one? We have... Carlo Grilletto, Tom Lavelle, and uh, Dave Briggs, who could not make it here tonight due to illness in the family. So if you're interested in public organizing and outreach, please go to that portion of the room for the next 15 minutes. And for those of you interested in communications, and we're in dire need of somebody to help set up a website. All right, we're limping along right now. Those of you who might have received an email, that was my sister and I struggling with, uh, for the first time in our lives, sending out an email blast. But we really need help in putting up a, um, a, a website. So anybody interested in helping with reaching 
reaching out with newsletters, email blasts, but the important thing is setting up a website. Please meet me up at the front of the room over here. If you would now, break into those sessions, and at a quarter of, we'll call you back to, uh, to order again.